What's up guys and welcome back to Overkill Gaming, your home for high-end gaming, whether it's PC, PS5, or handhelds, we got you covered. Today we're going to be showing you another method to set up global controller support within Windows on the Steam Deck. Now, previously we showed you a method called the glossy method. Glossy stands for global steam controller. And although it works pretty good, it does have some limitation. Not only that, but the setup can be a little bit tricky as well. One of the limitations of using the glossy method is that once you enable the controller within windows, you lose control over your touch pads, which means that you end up having to use the touch screen to move things around or to select things or to open and close application. The method I'm gonna show you today is much easier to set up. And when you enable the controller, you do not lose control over your touch pads at all. So overall, I think that this method is better, far superior than the glossy method. I currently have both installed on my Steam Deck and I'm gonna show you how to set this up. Before we dive in guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to leave a like on the video and also consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Lots of great content on this channel for the Steam Deck. We also cover PC and PS5 as well. You don't wanna miss out on any of it. Now, if you have Windows installed on your Steam Deck and you try to play a game outside of Steam, one thing you'll notice is that the controller, the actual built-in controller on the Steam Deck does not work. It's only an issue for games outside of Steam. Games within Steam work perfectly fine. What if you have games that you want to play that are outside of Steam? For example, games on Battle.net like Call of Duty or games in the Epic Games Store. Previously, you would have had to physically connect the controller to your Steam Deck in order to play those games. But now we have a few different methods to enable the Steam controllers to work outside of Steam. The method we're going to show you today is called the SWICD method, which stands for Steam Windows Controller Driver. Now, here we are in Call of Duty Vanguard, and as you can see, it does not detect a controller, and that's why it's asking us to switch to keyboard and mouse. But now I'm going to show you what happens when we enable the Steam Windows Controller Driver and just how easy it is. All right, so we're just waiting for it to activate now. And when it does, you're gonna hear a little chime. And there it is. It's the same exact noise you hear when you plug a USB device in. So now the Steam Windows controller driver is active. And this is something that we can enable at Windows Startup as well. Now what you'll notice is that Vanguard is no longer asking us to switch to keyboard and mouse. And that's because it can detect the controller now. And as you'll see, as we get past this and get into the menu, we'll be able to move around the menu using the buttons and the joysticks. And we still have full control over our track pads as well. In order to set this up, we're gonna head on over to GitHub and we're gonna download three files, the Vigum bus driver, the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable package, and the Steam Windows controller driver. I'm gonna download all three. I'm gonna install them and all you have to do is follow along with me and everything should go smoothly for you. All right, so first we'll download the Vigum bus driver. And uh, once we click on the link, we'll just scroll down just a little bit to where we see it says assets and then we'll click on the top one here. All right, now we'll go back and we'll click on the C++ redistributable package. And then now we'll download the Steam Windows controller driver. And we're gonna select the one at the top here, the 0.31 API. We'll go to assets and click on this one right here, SWICD setup EXE. All right, now that we have all three downloaded, the first one we're gonna install and we're gonna do it in this order. We're gonna install the Vigum bus driver first. We'll click next. We'll click on I agree and then click next and then install and select yes. And then just let it run through its course. And then we'll click finish. Now here it's going to ask if you want to restart. We'll we'll wait until we're done installing everything to restart. Next, we're going to install the visual C++ redistributable package.
And last but not least, we'll go ahead and install the SWICD. Right here, we're gonna wanna click on more info. And then down at the bottom, we're gonna click run anyway. And then here we're gonna select yes. And then next, I agree, next, and then install. All right, now we'll click finish and everything is installed. At this point, we'll go ahead and restart the Steam Deck. All right, so we're back in Windows on the Steam Deck. And take a look down the bottom right hand corner and you'll see it says we're setting up virtual Xbox 360 controller. We currently have Steam Windows controller enabled at startup. So whenever we start up Windows, it's automatically going to load in this controller configuration. And you're also going to want to make sure that you have Steam running in the background. Now here we are in the settings. And as you can see here in settings, we have it checked to start with windows and to start minimize. Also, we're going to want to go down to where it says default profile. And we want to check this box here that says mouse movement enabled. And when we check it, it's going to change to mouse movement disabled. And then also here buttons disabled. And that's all we really have to do. But if you also want to go in and configure or remap buttons, you can here in this section. All right, let's head back into Vanguard and test out our controls. All right, so as you guys can see, the controls work perfectly fine. We also have our trackpad still fully functional. We have this set up to start up with Windows, so you don't have to go in and find anything and click it. As soon as you start up Windows, you're gonna have this functionality, and it was really easy to set up. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and also consider subscribing for future videos like this. You definitely don't wanna miss out. We'll see you guys in the next one. We're out of here. Peace.